Hi, my name is Alana Greylack, and today we are going to be talking about how to teach fractions with music. Most people wouldn't assume that you could teach fractions with music, but the naming system that we have here in the United States for music is pretty great in terms of understanding how the notes work. If you were in England, for instance, uh, they might talk about things like crotchets, quavers, uh, semiquavers, and at least to me, it doesn't quite give you the understanding of how the note works, uh, how, the, how the note value works. But when we're talking about it here, we have note names like quarter note, half note, whole note, etc. And that will really give you a clue as to how long you have to count that note and how they're related to each other. So the first thing we're going to talk about is a whole note. If you were teaching a fraction, the whole would be one. Now in this case, what can get a little bit confusing is that a whole note is actually worth four beats. So our whole here is going to be four. And that would be, if you're going to play a whole note, you would count one, two, three, four. And you would hold it for four total beats. Um, but if we think about it kind of like a little pie, we have our whole note, and it actually looks like that on the page. It just looks like a circle with no stem. What we also then have would be a half note. Now, you can think that two half notes can fit into a whole note. So if you divide that whole, which is four, into two pieces, each piece is going to be worth two beats. And our half note is worth two beats. And you would play a half note by doing one, two. So a half plus a half equals a whole. And in this case, two plus two equals four. Then we have a smaller division, which would be a quarter note. Um, you can guess that there are four quarters in one whole. So there we have our four beats and then the quarters, one, two, three, four. And if you wanted to play, say, four quarter notes, it would be one, 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 one. Or you could count it one, two, three, four. And that's your four quarters that fit into the whole. Going down further now, we have something called an eighth note. We can fit eight eighth notes into one whole note. The eighth note is actually um, half of a quarter note. So eighth a quarter. So if you have one four, now you have one eight, and that's half. So you can actually fit two eighth notes into one quarter. So if you have a quarter, this is your quarter, one, right? So let's say this is two quarters, one, one. Your eighth notes would be one and one and. And now you fit, um, four of those into the two quarters, if that makes sense. Now we're going to go down and further divide it into what's called sixteenth notes. So you can guess that sixteen sixteenths fit into one whole. If we look further, we have a thirty-second note. Thirty, <laughs> thirty-two, thirty-second notes fit into one whole, and then you can divide it again into sixty-fourth notes. Uh, we don't see those very often in music. Um, you may see them sometimes like in Mozart or in a few embellishments here and there, but we don't see them too often. Same thing with 30-second notes. We see them sometimes, but not very frequently. The most common ones that you're going to see are the 16ths and the 8ths, and then followed by all of the quarters, halves, and wholes. So if you're going to want to use music to teach the fractions, what you can do is what I like to call musical math. Um, I use it with my students. You would draw like a half note. You put half plus half equals, and the answer would be to draw a whole note. Similarly, you can do a quarter plus half, and that's going to give you what we didn't talk about, which is actually a dotted half note, which is worth three beats. Um, that one's a little harder to mix in if you're talking about fractions, because a dotted half note doesn't really sound like a fraction. Um, so if you want to keep it really basic and just do basic fractions, use your sixteenths, eighths, quarters, halves and wholes. You can come up with some really fun musical math exercises that will both help your student learn how to play the piano and how to properly count their music and also help them to better understand fractions in their everyday math. <laughs>